Hello everybody, this is me DJ Rimmon with a bit of a vlog for you to promote the, my five years on Musical Radio. Yes, it's been five years, believe it or not. If, um, nobody really knows because this is a newish channel I've had. I've had it for was about six months, I think. Uh, with like, Black Dog Cat and Silver Sparks footage up. Um, I started doing decks. You know, I wasn't really all MP3s at the time. And I was coming from DJ stages, I used to mix. And, um, but going from that, to MP3s wasn't a really difficult thing to do um, because obviously a lot of things start coming from digital to me to play and review and obviously you get CDs, I've CDs from artists for the last few years and you get like perks, you get merchandise, you get stuff and uh, but I wanted to always emulate John Peel, that was the whole point and obviously he passed away a few years ago and I used to listen to his shows and um, not to go over like eight minutes of it but um, you know I, uh, I went from DJing on a the drum bass station, a few, a few of them including Rufy Sounds and Aftershock, and I wanted to do more with decks. I thought, well, I got I like rock or certain singles or indie singles other than drum and bass I was mixing, but a lot of them didn't like it, bass because they just stuck to dance or drum and bass, it wasn't indie stuff. So I came to Aftershock Radio, found it in 2008, and I started on decks doing like not mixing, just playing stuff like a jukebox style thing. And I obviously over time you actually do something different or change the way you do things or just like and uh, first. Well, I think it was last uh, last year. I finally settled on radio variety shows a name. I've been on Cool Music Revolution. I've done various names to try and get it right. Pop to punk, as a lot of people might have known. But radio variety shows want to sticking out because for something, radio variety show is easy to remember and it sounds old fashioned. It's kind of traditional. I I actually got it from a show sort of thing. But the reason for this, a uh, couple of things, is um, yeah, uh, uh, led to from 2008 to this year. Now, uh, August is when I joined, I think the end of August is when I joined Musical Radio, I think. Fifth anniversary. Five years. Woohoo. That's one quick. Um, I want to do something special, and I'm always on guests on, as a lot of people know. I've had a Black Dog Cat in here, that's on uh, Radio Variety Show, that's on this channel, so you know uh, that I've had guests up here. I've been filming a lot more recently because the technology's down, I've got the equipment to do that. Just, uh, this camera's fabulous for it, and if I have a backup, it's with phone. So, uh, recently, John C. Stannard appeared on my radar for uh, for who? Uh, John C. Stannard is well known for being the folk band from the late 60s, Tudor Lodge. Um, I wouldn't say a comparison, but in terms of vocals, uh, because there's a female vocalist in Tudor Lodge, I would say the nearest is Sally from Digital Daughter, if you want to compare the vocals, because I thought, who she remind me of, the woman in Tudor Lodge, but the actual vocal style, very, very, uh, actually Mary Hopkin, actually, uh, this is kind of a, the sort of willowy type of vocals. But John C. Stanley's a guitarist, I believe he's the guitarist in the band. Um, I don't know much about the band in all honesty, and I do vaguely remember the band, uh, but I'm not a big folk fan, but I do like it when I'm in the mood. You know? um, uh, so I looked on his website, johncstanner.co.uk, which is where I got the information from in the first place. But the reason he came across me in the first place was his wife, Angie. Obviously, she's heard my show at some degree and found me on Facebook and uh, sent me a CD, which was, I think I got that before, and I thought, huh? <laughs> I can't remember the actual conversation. But, Doob Do is the out blues album that John C. Sanders actually recorded. And this is a blues album, it's not actually a folk album. I thought, oh, he's only, he started just writing blues purely by accident, or, you know, obviously you just write, and then you produce an album called Doob Do. So, as part of that, I, um started in August, the open show promotion, which is the album, to play one a track or two a track, you know, a uh, show, all the way leading up to the special we're doing. It is from Reading, so it's not really that far to come, thank you a lot. <laughs> and um, this is website, John C. Stannard, there you go. Um, yeah, so he's coming down on 25th of August, and for the first time we are broadcasting from General Foods. Not the first time to announce our broadcast, did Bodfest and Northgate Studios with Chris Oak. But in terms of only once a month, uh, General Foods Sports and Social Club is only just down the road. Um, the, um, there's a building run back, uh, big-ish, uh, a lot of bands practice down there, that's where I'm going. Um, you can come down, but it's not a big place, you, you can fit a band in there and a laptop and that's about it. It's not huge, but um, what I've done is also, to coincide with this as such, is to set up a donation blog. Uh, now, I'll, there are several blogs, you know, it's obviously through PayPal. Because uh, that's what I use a lot for, you know, beat and things. And I thought, well, what can I do? Like, 
try and keep what I get in terms of money separate. I want to keep Radio and Variety show, show independent. So what I've done is set up a blog. Uh, now, there's got several uh, options on this. You can just straight donate whatever you like. And also, I've actually come up with the idea of actually songs. Uh, now, these are on SoundCloud. I've, uh, I've got my songs on here, Pirates of My Sync. And I've got um, Simon and Dwight, um, because they're actually from the radio show we did in July. Uh, really high, good quality, I'm amazed. Uh, I haven't done much to them at all, they're just how it is. Acoustics, the first inst one instrument is instrumental, the other two are vocal uh, tracks. Uh, live, so they're really good quality. So what I've done is actually upload them so you can buy them direct from SoundCloud. No, no uh, well, it goes to actually PayPal. I can't change the word from bio to donate because that sells a SoundCloud set it up. But on each uh, page, so for example, if you go to SoundCloud, if it, when it loads up, so there, that's on SoundCloud, Simon Dwight. So you can actually, um, so you, uh, it comes up buy on the bottom there. So if you click, uh, click buy. There you go, you can do that. Easy. But that's what I've done with the music. Uh, so if you click buy on all, any of them, you, uh, feel free to donate. I'm not pressing anybody with, with donations. Uh, you can donate straight or if you want, uh, I've, I keep my, my options open with donations. If, if you say a shop or something or you know if you want to do something, say, oh, uh, I like what you do and can you please add this to the donation like if you want to put a banner on our blog or something I will put stuff on Facebook as well so if you want to do something like that, if you want to put a package with a donation then it's fine uh, I, I'm more willing to say oh yeah you can do that or not or so as much as little as you can it'll help with uh, costs with the booking fee uh, help with general things so everything's on the website uh, sorry on the blog so you've got PayPal there there one is for um, basic general ones, one is for booking fee, so I've got several options for PayPal, so it's not just one. I thought, well, I'll put, this is what I tried to rework it, so you've got several options. You don't have to just have one PayPal button for everything, so one PayPal for this, one PayPal for that, and I've reorganised it with the, with the songs. So, many thanks for watching this and subscribing and everything that people have done lately. People send my things on Facebook, my central point really. The blogs, uh, I'll put articles on and reviews, and I've started to put the actual YouTube videos on as well because you can actually link it. So it's www.youtube. Sorry, it's www. Well, www.youtube.com forward slash radio variety show. The blog is djreeman.blogspot.com. The Facebook is Paul DJ. Uh, sorry, the Facebook is Paul DJ Reeman Radio and Music. Uh, the Twitter is at DJ Reeman or www.twitter.com forward slash DJ Reeman. All the all descriptions will be in the descriptions below, all the links, I should say. So, uh, if you want to send me anything, uh, if you want to ask about donations, it's djreamingukatgmail.com. Many thanks for watching.